Okay, so this is basically the board that I made for the template. What I did is I measured this and I got somebody on eBay to get one made for me in polycarbonate. However, I did wonder why I made it this long. So I basically measured it to the length of the board and then got measured it to the board. And then I realized it was made that long to fit onto the case properly. So now I've got this <laughs> little bit of wood here as a spacer so it fits onto the case. So what we need to do basically is get rid of that and bring in the lovely Perspex polycarbonate bit of plastic that we need. I'll grab the motherboard. There we go, which fits on here. And we need to make some holes to mount it on. As I can see, that is slightly <coughs> undersized. That's fine, we can mount it on that one there because we need one at the top and at least one at the bottom on here anyway. I can't remember if there's any mounting holes anywhere else on the back, which there isn't, but that's fine because it's held on by the back plane. Alright. Let's see if we've got another marker pen with a longer nib. There we go. Possibly, always there be fine. Okay, move that out of the way. So now we have some marker holes. Just going to check with the motherboard, make sure we haven't got any other holes. Nope. That is fine and dandy. That's what we can do now. Let's get a drill bit. as a guide. So obviously with a small hole first, because the small hole can make it bigger if I start off with a too big a hole, it could basically end up cracking the perspex and we don't want that. Smash Bosch. Yep, it's all good. That's fine. What I'll do is I'll just go through these just to widen these out a little bit. So this should be able to sit. Well, 
on here. Uh, and what I might do is use actually some 3M double sided sticky tape to mount this to the case so it sticks so they can be removed and without risk of the bolting underneath to the case and obviously shorting out on the bottom of the motherboard and just literally a couple of nuts to secure it and bolts on here and that should be good okay so we've got the back plate um, which I've milled out a few the holes a little bit bigger because my drawing wasn't great so they weren't perfectly lined um, also the little screw holes are ever so slightly out on a couple of them so all we're going to do is take the drill and just make the hole slightly bigger <laughs> And all I need to do now is where well, I've marked it here, which I'm going to go over a little bit easier. I just need to file that section out there, which I have a little special power plug that feeds straight back into the case. And it needs just a tiny little bit more space so it doesn't touch and short out on the case. So I'll do that in the shed and basically we can mount it all up in a minute and see how well it looks. <clears throat> okay, so I've got the case. This basically will sit in there. So it's in there nicely like that, but we need to come up this way. So this is where this comes in handy. Slot into there. Which will give me perfect height. <clears throat> I might need a couple of spaces underneath. That is level with that. Okay, I'll glue that up. Just a little millimetre difference, which will be fine. So that will sit on there like that. And then the motherboard. So, and that gives me space down there for 90 degree compact flash card mount. You have space up there for the accelerator cards. I can put some spaces on here to stop that from hitting the metal and shorten out there's some space underneath there which again we can put some spaces in but yeah that is how it's going to sit along the bottom there we have gvbs <clears throat> and if i get long enough cables the ID interface as well will sit on the bottom. Or maybe 
depending on space, it may be able to mount on here. So we'll look at that and see how that is. Okay, so I've made a few adjustments due to the fact that also cut this a little bit on the smaller side the perspex was sticking out over here which means the accelerate card wouldn't mount to it so I've been able to move it down to touch the bottom so I don't need to make a little wooden space of fit and it just means I need to cut that bit off there and yeah so I've done screw hole there and there to mount the perspex to the case screw hole there I can now mount one on there and then this side will be fine I'll just get a little spacer underneath there to support the motherboard there on the back of the case I've put a bolt there one there one there. I'll just use these temporarily because these were a bit large. I'm gonna get some button head screws and then that should stick down there with a bit of gap. So yeah, so that is looking good. So now what I need to do align the bottom bit there for the accessory cards that I'm going to be using got the GBBS board and I'm going to decide it's going to go about there that way so yeah, about there that way we've got clearance for the PCI-MCI slot, PCMCIA slot there, and then mount the plug at the top there, and then the output, I could do it probably about there to be fair. Yep. It gives us plenty of space away from the motherboard. Outputs at the top there. space around here to run the cable through back out to there and we've got the corner fans here so that will cool the board as well so yeah so I think that's going to be the best location so what we'll do we we'll draw some holes there as well Side. Hmm. So there. Now we can drill some holes in and then we can mount the spacers and the board can be mounted. And there. And there. And there. So yes, yeah, so they're all good. They will line up. I need to do now is put some glue around the inside of the threads around there and on the case so that the inserts don't fall out 
I'll do that now and that's pretty much all I can do for the time being until I order some nuts and bolts to bolt everything in with so we'll do that on another day in the meantime I'll probably do the same with the IDE and uh, we'll go from there <laughs> 